Yo, what's good? Now, before we jump into the footage, there's a couple things that I want to talk about. Everything that you're going to see is filmed on a Canon R5 and 8K All Eye. Now, my computer definitely cannot handle an 8K timeline, so what I did was downscale it to a 4K timeline in Premiere Pro. So, what I'm curious to know is if doing it this way, if it'll produce a crispier image than the 4K HQ mode. My last five to six videos, including this shot right now, was filmed in 4K HQ, so we kind of have something to compare it to. And the second thing is, I attempted to vlog in 8K, and then I realized I don't even have enough storage for that. I only have a 128 gig CF Express card, and 8K eats that right up. So there's not that much vlog footage in these first set of shots, but I think it'll still be interesting to see. So these first shots are just me and my guy Gio looking at a studio because I'm gonna be helping him film here in a few days. Now, after these shots, I'm also gonna show you a quick little 8K cinematic visual I filmed as well. So let's get into it. Oh, your hair looks different. I know. It's nice small. and like uh, silky yeah. and. <laughs> what up, Mills? What's good? What's good? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a cool minute. AK vlog. That's what we're doing today. That's what we're doing. What do I look like in AK? All right, so I know it wasn't that many shots there, but hopefully that can give somewhat of an example of what that looks like. So now what I want to do is jump into the cinematic visual I filmed downtown. So here it is. Okay, so looking at the footage, it's tough to tell which one is crispier, the downscaled 8K or the 4K HQ. But one thing I will say is that for my setup, my computer does not handle 8K nearly as well as 4K, so the process takes much longer. But if we're not looking at time and how long it takes to edit, then I'll give the advantage to the downscaled 8K due to the fact that you can zoom in to a certain extent and not lose any quality. But for me and my current setup, it wouldn't make any sense for me to be filming in 8K right now. I just thought it would be an interesting video. So if you enjoy, go ahead, and drop this video a like, jump down in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Do you think the downscaled 8K looks better than the 4K HQ mode or do they look the same? Let me know and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. It only takes a second and I will see y'all real soon in my next one. Peace.